August 1st, 1981, music television, also known as MTV, launched Video Killed the Radio Star by the Buggles for the first time. Three decades later, the network is almost unrecognizable compared to where it began, but still remains a game-changing network. In the early days of MTV, the sole purpose of the channel was displaying a variety of music for the world to hear. Initially, MTV was only available to households in certain parts of New Jersey. These videos were provided for free by record companies at first. Soon, the music industry recognized MTV as a way of promotion and began creating cutting-edge videos. In the 1980s, MTV played a major role in promoting the careers of upcoming artists such as Michael Jackson, Madonna, Prince, and Duran Duran. Before Miley Cyrus was even born, the first Video Music Awards show aired live on September 14, 1984. It honored the best music videos of that time period. Herbie Hancock was the night's biggest winner, receiving five awards. Michael Jackson followed, taking home three awards. In 1992, MTV launched its first reality television show that forced seven strangers to live together and things got real. The real world, surprisingly, is on its 30th season to date and has highlighted major controversies from domestic abuse to gay rights to HIV and AIDS. Our generation basically grew up with MTV. As we grew older and changed inside and out, so did MTV. The transition from music to reality happened really fast. One second we're watching Britney Spears Oops I Did It Again, and the next we're watching Pimp My Ride, which brings us to our next point. Most of us remember following 50 Cent around his crib or watching Exhibit transform the most dinky cars into the most rich looking hangout. And who could forget parental control where the really nice guy was stuck with the horrible girlfriend everyone hated. And then the hills came where we followed Lauren Conrad's move to LA and watched her pursue her fashionista dream. We also had the show where everyone bust on each other while and out. And after that came Orange Guidos and Guidettes, who went to the same club every night to get drunk and fist pump in Jersey Shore. Now there are fewer reality shows on MCV and more scripted shows that air. For example, as far as reality television, we still have The Real World, The Challenge, Teen Moms, and Teen Moms 2. But we now have Catfish, Are You The One? The biggest non-reality shows on MCV include Teen Wolf, Finding Carter and faking it. It was actually music, um, and I felt like as the older I got, the more I noticed it started to move away from music and actually just kind of went over to normal TV programming. mom and dating shows like catfish or other reality shows that are completely irrelevant to music so I think it should be pr probably not called MTV anymore there's not really much music going on there <laughs> start watching MTV. Um, I have three older sisters and they all watched MTV so I think that's probably why uh, I started watching it. Um, I'd probably start watching MTV when I was like six, seven, eight years old. Probably not the age to, to be watching that but I certainly was. Um, the reason why I think I watched it is because I think it just like had a lot to relate to um, throughout the teen teenage years. Um, they had a lot of cool shows, and I still watch MTV uh, to these days. All in all, MTV has changed the game of television forever. MTV put videos on the map, made rap music mainstream, and made award shows controversial. MTV created reality television and then changed the face of it, and proved that a network can and should grow up with its viewers.